Twitter shares continue to trade below Elon Musk's $54.20 offer price as there is still fears on a deal getting done. Let's get more on this with City's senior analyst, Ron Josie. Ron, good to see you here. Just based on your knowledge of the situation, folks, you have talked to, uh, do you still think this deal gets done uh, at that price? You know, it, we, we were pretty, um, the big news this week was around uh, coming together, both parties suggesting with Elon saying we will honor our original $54.20 share offer and Twitter come out, coming out specifically and saying that it's something that we are looking to do as well. And so the fact that they're both in the negotiating table, not in court going against each other, I think that's a positive step. And it seems to me it's just a matter of time until something happens and this deal seems to be on the path to being consummated. So that would be our view overall. What's the reality of any changes that would be made to Twitter and, and when that would actually take place, even if and as this does kind of continue to work its way through? Yeah, I mean, if something were to happen, meaning that if it is acquired by by Mr. Musk and if we go through and it's now a private company, look, it, unfortunately, this has been in the public world now that this acquisition back and forth since call it March or April, I believe, with the initial deal, uh, initial offer there. And so Twitter's gone through quite a bit of change from then until now, not only from a business perspective with advertisers potentially pulling back, maybe getting a little bit more nervous on placing ads on Twitter, in addition to the macro changes that are happening out there. But then internally, you know, there's, there's just a lot of concern in, in our view around morale, around um, basically attrition or, or just getting things done and new products being launched. So your question of how long would it take to, to sort of get the business back up to speed, frankly, you know, it would take probably some time to rebuild and the macro environment doesn't, would not help um, in the current environment where advertising continues to be a little bit of a, a softer subject overall. And Ron, we don't even know what he's going to do with the company, right? I, I have to say, man, it must be tough analyzing this company right now. You didn't know if the deal was going to get done. You don't know what Elon's going to do if he does indeed consummate the deal, right? I mean, we've gotten some hints dropped. There's been a lot of speculation. Trump's going to come back. He's talked about this everything app X, whatever. But like, how do you, how do you even model concretely in a situation like this? Well, it'll be a lot easier for them internally as a private company. So you wouldn't have to talk to folks like myself to, to model and, and figure mm. out what's next. But you essentially have to rebuild the business, right? So you start, I'm, I'm sure the first net order of business is to look at the product, to your point, see what can be done to make it more user friendly, to get more users on the service. Onboarding was something that was a, a big focus prior to this saga that we're in currently and so number one would be product number two then is figuring out how you best monetize and right now the 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 model is primarily advertising but of course there's options around subscription there's options around maybe uh payments or something along those lines purchases so so there's different things you can do but i, I think day one whenever this comes to a conclusion has to be uh let's focus on the product Let, let's make you make sure it becomes that call it town square uh, open free marketplace and then everything else should follow. But it's not something that I think happens overnight. It's likely to take some time. Ron, is there an appetite in the marketplace for this super app concept that Elon is, is pushing here? Do consumers want to, let's say, go into a Twitter, tweet, then also maybe get taken to trade some stocks on XYZ platform uh, and then order an Uber and then a hamburger for dinner? I mean, do, do people really want that? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, the super apps here in the uh, in the West haven't really taken on as much as they have taken off as much as they have over in Asia and other parts of the world. And so that 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 definitely is a TBD overall um, partnerships to allow things along those lines that would build off of what you see on Twitter makes sense. You can see that happening. But one super app, you know, it's a it's a change in use case. Right. And the thing with Twitter that having covered the company for a while now and and looking at it quarter in, quarter out, the number one thing is A, product, B, those, those monetizable daily active users. And so the more you can do to get those users on board, everybody knows Twitter. What's always surprising is you would think it would have a bigger footprint overall. And so that that's the, in terms of users. And so that's probably the job number one. And if the super app does that, that that's, that's a big question. But 
frankly, it's still too early to even to even offer that. And I think you're right. It would have to be something that would at least be in line to what you are looking for and consuming while on Twitter. And there's partnerships that can make that happen. But it's uh, it's definitely I would say the product is that that's on the roadmap for 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 down the road once everything settles for the most part. Is it possible that that after all of the dust is settled that Twitter in privacy becomes a, a media company. And, and I mean, a, a media company with partnerships that can actually charge people for the ability to, to watch video content, whether that be from the WNBA, whether that be live sports or the partnerships with even some of the entertainment companies that they've worked with over the past, P creating kind of a charging premise based on that where the social connectivity just becomes an extra add-on on top of that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with the platform when you have as many, you know, monetizable DAUs that are out there. Um, I would say, and we've always talked about the content on Twitter is amongst the best out there. And the content is a, is really just an amalgamation of, of what people are saying and, and doing and tweeting and, and whatnot. And you can you can get lost in Twitter for hours. The challenge is that product providing those details on what you're looking for going more in a media strategy, um, working with providers and partners, we've seen success in there, right? And I think Twitter in the past has had partnerships by providing um, videos and highlights from the Olympics, from the NFL, from many different sports teams, as well as uh, award shows and whatnot. So I think going down the media path is something that would continue. Um, the question is, you know, the, the model changes from primarily advertising to maybe some sort of subscription, That that's a TBD. And, you know, I, I would say most entertainment companies on the web that have gone to paying for content, it's not an easy sort of chasm or bridge to cross. And so you really need to provide that value um, to get users to, to subscribe to it. And right now, again, Twitter has some tremendous and fantastic content in there. It's a matter of surfacing it and providing that right user experience on a personalized level. And that's really the key thing going forward, the personalization. Well, Ron, uh, unfortunately, I think this is the first time we've talked to you about Twitter. Unfortunately, maybe it'll be the last if this deal goes through. <laughs> Although perhaps it'll be a relief for you. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find some other good stocks to talk about with you, though. Thanks so much for coming on. City Senior Analyst Ron Josie, appreciate it. Thanks for having me.